Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the 80s. This next round is all about lifestyle, the fads, fashions, technologies and toys of the 80s. My Little Ponies were the most popular girls' toys of the early 80s. They came with accessories like hairbrushes, saddles and a tiny shotgun in case you broke it and had to put it out of its misery. <laughs> Britain's first ever mobile phone call was made in 1985. It was from a salesman asking if you'd like to buy some payment protection insurance. <laughs> VHS beat Betamax in the video wars of the 80s. For any youngsters watching, a VHS video was like Netflix, but instead of clicking a button, you got to walk to the shops. And instead of the film instantly playing, the machine ate it and you had to rewind it with a pencil. <laughs> instead of seeing the end of E.T., you got to watch the snooker because someone had taped over it. <laughs> Better, really. First up, have a look at this clip. Uh, what 80s trend is this man talking about? I see these little 10-year-old kids doing it and I get really frustrated and want to break their wrist or something. <laughs> but uh, I'll probably go up and re-register and try it one more time. OK. So, when he saw teenagers doing it, he wanted to break their wrists. What was he talking about? I think that teenagers can break their own wrists, Jim. <laughs> yeah, if you get carried away, kids, you be careful. <laughs> Take a break. And remember to rehydrate. <laughs> Next up, time for another guest question. It's to pals Carol Decker. Oh, Carol Decker. Yay. Hi, Jimmy. Everything was big for to in the 80s. Massive hits, massive choruses, and, of course, massive hair. But in 1984, L'Oreal launched a product that they said would bring about the end of hair gel. What was it? Let's put it in. to fond of to Have you heard of to David? I have heard of to Yes. Mm. Brilliant. They did a song called... China in your hand, didn't they? Wow, I'd better watch it, I might lose my job. I mean, this is incredible <laughs> pop knowledge from you, yeah. David. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Andrew Lloyd Webber went from strength to strength in the 1980s, but how was he responsible for seriously injuring 21 oh, people? Such a good looking man. <laughs> okay, have you got something for this, Jack? Yeah, yeah. yeah we've got an answer. It's a good one. It's a good one, okay. It's a good one. And finally, let's go over to the two real stars of Going Live, Trevor and Simon. Yes. Oh, yeah. Two right. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Trevor and Simon here. From the 80s. Mm. We've got a question about one of the 1980s most tragic icons. <gasps> Pat Sharp. No, Pac-Man. Oh, no, no, sorry, yes, Pac-Man, <laughs> who spent his entire life trapped in a hellish maze with only a diet of pack dots and power pellets to sustain him. Oh, the poor blighter. Oh, the poor blighter. Yeah. To make things even more hellish for him, he was tormented by four ghosts. Goats? No, ghosts. Oh, ghosts. ghosts. <laughs> yes. But can the teams name them? Look at Phil Jupiter's his face. As Shut finally, up. it's paid off. Do you know this? Yeah. Don't of course tell them, he does. You know. Look at him. He was born for this quiz. <laughs> Jack, any idea at all? You'll find out in a minute, um, <laughs> We've written oh, the answers yes. on our pad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I asked you what 80s trend this man was talking about. Did you know? Was it the Rubik Cube? Sarah and Alan? You've got to hope so, haven't you? Rubik Cube. Yeah. Yeah. Jason Jack? It's got to be. We think so as well. Yeah, absolutely right. All of you. Yeah. Cool. Well done. Could anyone do it? Yes. I... Yes. No. How quickly could you do it? Well, I used to take it apart. And then put it back in the <laughs> right, get... Just take the stickers off. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. just yeah. stick them all on. Say, I, uh, I couldn't do it because I had friends. <laughs> David, could you I, do it? I couldn't do it, despite not having friends. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, <laughs> next up, Carol Decker asked you what revolutionary product was going to bring the end of hair gel. What did you put? Was mousse. It, was it the mousse? We put mousse. Hair mousse? Got yeah. mousse. <laughs> mousse. Sarah, did you mousse? I moosed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we saw your hair earlier. Yeah. Something was going on. Can't make that happen. <laughs> Sad. Um, yes, there's something about Sarah. Sure. Okay. Something about Mary. <laughs> yeah, right. the there, darling. Yep, oh, yep, you remember that one? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's yeah. weird because Sarah almost said exactly the same thing. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, adorable. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I asked you, uh, how was Andrew Lloyd Webber responsible for seriously injuring 21 people? Did you get it? I said that he dropped a chandelier on their heads in Phantom of the Opera. I think that's what actually happens in the play. <laughs> no, no, on the audience and, and injured them, which I don't think is meant to happen. OK. Uh, Jack, Jason, what have you got? We, we think that uh, people uh, went to see cats and started to pretend to be cats. 
<laughs> there was some some performances were better than others, and people got yeah. into uh, a frenzy. Scratch. And would start doing this. Scratch. And, Try to be cats, and they never had to. And actually, on one occasion, 21 people who went to see cats <laughs> did, did, did hurt did. themselves they on, did. on the upholstery. <laughs> what have you got? What's it? Starlight Express, we think, is uh, cast members were falling off of things in the Victoria Palace. So, some sort of pretend train <laughs> yeah. on the stage injured but, an actor. Which went 21 actors. out and round the, you know. It's exactly the right answer. No. Oh, yes, 21 oh, actors were injured wow. in the production of Starlight Express. Yeah. You, so you remember the play, everyone was on yes. roller skates. Yeah, mm. yeah. Oh. All right, so uh, Trevor and Simon asked you, what were the names of the ghosts that followed Pac-Man? <laughs> Jason, Jack, what did you put? Uh, we put, we don't know. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> uh, what have you got there, Alan? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Phil, David. Phil. OK, the leader was Blinky, right? Then the pink one's Pinky, the blue one was Inky, and then the orange one was the most stupid ghost, was Clyde. 100% <laughs> right, Phil Jupiter's. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what sort of childhood you had. Get a life. Christ. Get a life. <laughs> that, that, in addition to the Pac-Man, there was a lot of masturbating. Right. <laughs> it was a full life. And fishing down the warren. Fishing down the warren. That does definitely sound like a euphemism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, genuinely, there was some fishing like Stop that's fishing down the warren up there, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mum ever walk in on you fishing down the warren? <laughs> no, but for some reason, my old man took a photo of me one morning. Came, came into the bedroom, and I was in the middle, and I thankfully heard him just outside the door and stopped. But I've, I've seen this photo <laughs> in the family album of me, startled. <laughs> It's a very special face, I'm telling you right now. Wow. Although, that's not as good as the story I heard about the bloke who used to wank with his headphones on, uh, bashed away, and then he finished, ah! Went and, he woke, and there's a cup of tea next to the bed. <laughs> it's all right. Time for a quick bonus round all about famous ads from the 80s. I'm going to say a famous line from a TV commercial oh. from the 80s. All you have to do is write down what that ad was for. OK? First one. Bet you can't eat three. <gasps> OK, so, uh, bet you can't eat three. What, what, have, what have you got? Uh, Sarah, Alan? Oh, no! Bugger! <laughs> I think... Shredded wheat! Well, you spelt shredded wheat, Weetabix. I know, there. I thought it was Weetabix first. Well, what have you put, Jason? Weetabix. We put Weetabix, yeah. yeah. Weetabix, so, so oh, bet you can't eat three. What, what do you think? Some other shredded wheat. He got shredded wheat because you just know it all. <laughs> Someone's not had a nap, Jesus. <laughs> so, you see, the thing is, the reason you, you were working on in the media home, I was at home watching it, watching you, Sarah, every week, every Thanks. Saturday morning, Sarah, watching. Yeah. I remember there was one Saturday morning when his dad walked in. <laughs> All right, so you get a point there, David and Phil. Uh, the next phrase from a famous advert, OK, try and guess what the product was. I'm going to attempt the accent. <laughs> Accrington Stanley, who are they? Exactly. <laughs> I'm getting so is much a... spit in my eye. That isn't spit, yeah, Phil, yeah. stop it. Um, <laughs> I'll with the tone again. Um, OK, so uh, what was that advert for? I do know. Do you know? I know. Crack on there! Boom! Oh, beast. Ah. That's good, that's it. OK, what, what, what have we got? I reckon it's a cup of tea, is it? So you, you've gone... PG, PG tips. tips. PG tips, OK. Yeah, Sarah, Alan? Heinz baked beans. Uh, and you've gone for...? Milk. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. <laughs> it was an advert for milk. <laughs> I like that's just an advert for mm. milk. Milk. <laughs> All milk. That was paid Where for by cows. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact they felt they had to advertise milk back then, just in case <laughs> anyone was... Oh, this cereal's a bit dry. What's going on? <laughs> You ready for your, your last advert from the oh, 80s? Yeah. Iconic advert. What was this an Brilliant. advert for? Mm. I'm looking for fly fishing by J.R. Hartley. Ah, oh, yeah. yes. Mm. Waterstones. I <laughs> 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 actually do remember the advert. I can't remember what it's for, Jimmy. <laughs> OK, so, Sarah and Alan, you've got... Yellow, yellow pages. pages. And you've gone for... Yellow pages. Oh, I couldn't remember what okay. it was. OK, Jack and Jason, you're, you're pretty close. Soup. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's have a look. Yeah. Oh. I don't suppose you have a copy of Fly Fishing by J.R. Hartley. No luck, Dad. Never mind. There's still a few mooses from. Good old yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs>
We don't just help with the nasty things in life, like a blocked drain. We're there for the nice things, too. You do? Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, can you keep it for me? My name, oh yes, it's J.R. Hartley. Oh. What a twist! It was like Shawshank with him. It's J.R. Hartley! So, at the end of all that, uh, Jason and Jack have 11 points. Uh, Sarah and Alan have 16 in the lead. David and Phil with 20. Oh. We're going to take a short break. Just enough time for a quick game of swing ball. See you in a bit. Anyone? Anyone? Come on, come on, Donovan. Oh! <laughs>